painting with a purpose fans today we are going to do our amazing butterfly picture um, the colors that you will need are black purple green blue white and yellow you will need if you have two different size flat brushes if one is bigger than the other you will need both the bigger and the smaller one if you just have one size that one size is great and you will need your medium round and your small round brush don't forget your cloth and your cup of water all right to get started you're gonna take your bigger flat brush And we are going to make a yellow sun top center of our canvas. So the top half and the center. So what you wanna to do to do this is you're gonna keep your, your, the center of your brush, the bottom of your brush stable, and you're gonna spin that top edge of your brush. Now this gives you a little small Sun. We want a bigger sun. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take half of your brush on your circle and the other half above your circle and you're going to spin it around. And you're going to do it one more time. So if you need to get more paint, go ahead and get more paint. So again, you take the bottom half of your brush on the yellow circle and the top half of your brush on the white canvas and you're going to go around that yellow circle that you already have. This kind of keeps it pretty round. Once you've done that and your sun, I would say, is about two inches maybe two and a half in diameter. We are going to rinse our brush. You wanna rinse that yellow off really, really good. We want a blue sky, not a green sky. So rinse that yellow off, fold your towel over your brush, pull the rest of that yellow out. All right, now the rest of our sky is gonna be blue, but we're gonna paint the background in that same circular motion all the way till the bottom of the canvas. So I'm gonna just put some lines of blue in a circular motion. Kind of throughout. Now I'm not even gonna wipe my brush. I'm just gonna go right into my white And I'm just gonna start painting in a circular motion all the way around that sun. You wanna get close to your sun, but not super close yet. All right, now we've got to cut in around our sun very carefully. So go ahead and get some more white on your brush. And you're just gonna run it right up next to your sun. 
if you get into your sun you're going to get green so you will need to rinse your brush and start all over not completely over just reload it with white all right now that you've cut it around your sun I've got some kind of blended areas I don't have a lot of light and dark so I'm gonna go back in and get just a little bit of blue and add that darker blue in some of my really well blended areas again I don't want it blended I want to be able to see the dark and the light and then if you need to go back in and add some more white because you've blended it a little bit much you can do the same thing with the white that you did with that dark blue in that same circular motion you will need a pencil for this once you have your sky finished if you are using the bigger flat brush go ahead and put it in your water you are finished with that and we have to wait until our background dries and then we will start on our butterfly all right now that our background is dry grab your pencil and we're going to draw our butterfly you're going to start with an oval middle for the top wing you're going to kind of come up and it kind of angles down and back in to the body this one depending on how big your butterfly is and where you put it it might run off the canvas mine's going to run right off that canvas and then for the bottom wings they kind of come out and curve down kind of at an angle and then go back in to close to the bottom of the body now you can have one really big butterfly or you can have I see that I just drew my butterfly you can have one medium-sized butterfly and a smaller butterfly you can have three really small butterflies it's completely up to you as to the size of your butterfly and how many you would like to have we're going to go ahead and paint this butterfly and we're going to add some of our flowers. We are going to go ahead and build our flowers around our butterfly that we just drew so that we can add another butterfly. So with your medium round brush, you're going to get your green. And maybe you're gonna have a little vine stem that kind of comes up from the bottom and curls off the left hand side of your canvas you are drawing with your medium round and then the flower is gonna come off this way so we're going to draw another little stem and we'll put a flower on the end of that one right there. Let's add a little curly leaf. And another little curly leaf. more. 
right, let's add some more. We're gonna have another flower coming right and curling up here. Our flower will be on the end of this one. So go ahead and rinse the green off your brush. And we're gonna use our purple. So I want you to lighten your purple a little bit. So just mix a little bit of white in with your purple. And these flowers are so super easy. So right here at the end of this one, it's like the letter U. And then you're gonna have like a little petal here, a little petal here. You're gonna have one in the middle. I have a little one peeking out here and another one peeking out here. Now that we have our flowers, we've got to add some dimension to them. So with your small brush, you're going to take your white and you're just going to add some highlights in between these And you're gonna do that same thing for all of them. All right, go ahead and wipe the white off of your brush. And we are going to add the little part of the stem that kind of holds the flower with our green. And you're gonna do that for all of them. kind of cradles the bottom of your flower right there.
And we are going to add some highlights with our white in our stem. So wipe the green off and go back to your white and just going to make it a little bit lighter. If your green is starting to dry and it's too much white, just go back over it with the white or with the green, I'm sorry. You just want to lighten a few areas. So not super all over, just a few. All right, now that we have all of that highlights on our vines and our flowers, you can always definitely add more flowers. You can add more vines. It's completely up to you. I think I kind of have a bare space right here. So I am going to put another little curl. And then I'm going to go back and add just a smidge of white on top of that. All right, now we're going to paint our butterfly. So rinse that green and white mixture off of your brush. And you're going to need your black. And we're just going to paint his body. Still using that little round brush. We're going to give him a little small head at the top and some antennas. Just like so. All right, we're gonna go back to our medium round brush and we're gonna take some of that purple that we used on our flowers and right up next to that black, we're just gonna kind of put our brush and pull out. Not very far, just a little bit. So right up next to that black, set your brush and pull out. You're gonna do that on all four of the butterfly's wings. Once you have that done, wipe the purple off and that blue that you used for your sky, you're gonna go ahead and mix up a light blue. So take some of your white, little bit of your blue, 
just a little. You want a really, really pale blue. And you're going to do the same thing right after that purple. You're going to take the blue and just kind of pull it out. It's so light, you can tell a difference between your background. And if you start to pick up that purple, totally fine. But just right at the edge of that purple, set your brush, pull out a little bit of that blue edge of the purple go ahead and rinse the blue off we're going to use pink next so you want a really pale pink so if you're using red and white you want a lot more white than red and if you're using a pink you're still probably going to want to lighten it and you're going to do the same thing from that blue you're going to pull out with the pink you should not be to the tip of your wing yet you're still almost to the tip but not quite All right, once you are finished with that, we're going to finish his wing off with the purple, only we want our purple to be a little bit darker. So you want this purple to be a shade or two darker than the purple that you used in the center. And you're just gonna start at that pink and the rest of his wing all the way to your pencil line is going to be that darker purple i'm going to show you a really cool trick that you're going to do with your dry medium flat brush if you are using one flat brush and you don't have two different sizes. Make sure that your brush is good and dry. So right from that pink all the way to the end. All right. Once you have that all covered in your dark purple, go ahead and get your medium flat brush and you're just going to run it over From the light out and you're gonna have to wipe that dark purple off every time you run through it so from that light out just very lightly touching your canvas you're gonna do that with all of them wiping that brush after every pull.
All right, now that we are finished doing that, you're gonna take your little small brush with your black, you're gonna kinda go around this back edge and do a black band. Kinda to clean up those wispy edges. And you're gonna do that around all of the wings and it's just on the back And because this leaf isn't really, you can't really see the end, we're just gonna do the little bit of the sides. All right. Just gonna go over his body one more time. I did not leave a lot of space to do another butterfly so I'm going to leave it at just one you could put a little butterfly up here um, if you wanted to but I love how big my flowers are and my butterfly is really big and looks amazing I hope you enjoyed painting this butterfly with me. If you want to, if you want us to continue to paint with you, please hit the subscribe button. Happy painting!